y'all might want to get a chair for this one because Monique just set the whole internet on fire after she went off on Taraji for being Oprah's lap dog and allowing Oprah to control her. Monique said she thought Taraji was just going to stand on business and mean what she said when she exposed Oprah for underpaying her for the color purple. However, she was disappointed when Taraji backtracked and started praising Oprah all over again. According to sources, Monique thinks Taraji is weak and ain't got the backbone to stand up against Oprah like she did. When Oprah and Tyler Perry blackballed her from the industry for speaking out against them. Jill, Monique just chewed Taraji up and spit her right back out. So what exactly did Taraji do to piss Monique off? And why did Monique get so triggered? Let's get into it. Okay, so as most of y'all already know by now, Oprah and Taraji got into it something serious a few days ago after Taraji put her on blast for severely underpaying her to star in the color purple. Taraji claimed she almost had to pass on the offer to be in the film because the money that Oprah was offering her was disrespectfully low. And even after they went into negotiations, Oprah still refused to pay her what she's worth. And baby, this gets even crazier when you find out that Taraji ain't seen a raise in her salary since the movie Proud Mary, which got released over six years ago. Oprah really had the chance to do something iconic by doing right by Taraji and putting her on, but she decided to be greedy, as always, and underpay her actors. Where's my raise? I haven't, had, I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. What? Yes, ma'am. Who said what? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Hallie and, and, and Felicia? Then what, why, why am I doing this? If it's all just for me, what the? Why are you here? We are to service each other. God is very clever. He put us on this earth and he made us all look different. He made it complicated. We need to figure it out. And we can. And we are. You have to look at, look at the glass. It's half full. It's always half full. Taraji added more fuel to the fire when she did an interview with Oprah's BFF, Gail King, to blast Oprah some more and call out all the other Hollywood executives for being selfish in the industry. And I heard on the street, Taraji, you had the audacity to say you're thinking about getting, stopping acting. We said, stop talking. Hmm. Are you thinking about it? Um... Mm. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. Um, you get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. Mm -hmm. The math ain't mathin'. I'm tired of hearing that my entire career, 20 plus years in the game, and I hear the same thing, and I see what you do for another production, and when it's time for us to go to bed, you don't have any money. Mm. They play in your face. Mm. And I'm just mm. supposed to smile and grin and bear it and just keep, like, mm. enough is enough. Mm -hmm. A lot of people rallied behind Taraji and applauded her for coming out and speaking out against Oprah in such a brave way. However, while this was going on, people really couldn't help but to compare Taraji's situation to what Monique also went through at the hands of Oprah and Tyler Perry. And unlike Taraji, Monique was actually bold enough to mention Oprah by name. It all started back in 2009 when Monique revealed that Oprah blackballed her and made 
made her lose jobs. After she declined doing press tours around the world for the movie Precious, according to Monique, she was only paid 50k to be the lead actress in the movie, which was already pretty low, especially considering that movie went on to be a box office hit. Oprah and Tyler still shamelessly had the guts to demand for her to go on a press run to promote the movie without getting paid an extra dime. They were asking her to take time away from her personal life to do promo for a movie she wasn't even paid well enough to do in the beginning. Monique obviously said no to this BS, and that's when Tyler and Oprah made it their life's mission to ruin her career. They got to flooding the tabloids with narratives about her being difficult to work with, so directors and producers would stay away from working with her. You, were, you had difficult well, demands. I want to address it for the order that it went in. And when Mr. Daniels say I had these demands, it shocked me because I was saying to the screen, Don, please ask him what the demands were. Mm -hmm. And actually there were no demands. There was a request from the movie studio and they called and requested that I fly to France for the Cannes Film Festival. I simply said I respectfully decline because if you can remember at the time, there was a talk show called The Monique Show I was doing a comedy tour. I was actually in the award season of the awards and I'm also a wife and I'm a mommy. So when they called, I had a couple days just downtime. I wanted to spend that with my husband and my kids. So when we said we respectfully declined, the movie studio called back again and they said, okay, well we'll upgrade her hotel room. And my husband simply said again, we respectfully declined. We're gonna, she's gonna take this time mm -hmm. with her family. Yeah. Well, when the third call came and they said, what is it gonna take to get Monique to France, to the Cannes Film Festival? And my husband said, is there a number associated with it? And they said, oh, we would never pay for anyone to do any promotions for a movie. And we said, we understood because what people didn't know was I was paid $50,000 to do the movie Precious. And it really wasn't about the money, and I'm not complaining because I signed up to do it with my friend. Yeah, but so you're, when the movie you're saying that because you didn't have the money to do this on your own. Is that what you're saying? That you needed well, to feed your family and pay your bills? I think that's what America says. Yeah. I think we all say, I can't do it for free. Right. So when the movie studio says we can't set a precedence and pay you to do this, we didn't have an issue with them, okay. but that's when the reports came that now Monique is being demanding and she's being difficult. They had a request, we simply had a request, and we, they said they couldn't do it and we said we understood. That was it. As if that wasn't bad enough, they also started spreading lies about her in the industry. In fact, Monique claims there was a time when she found out that Tyler had badmouthed her to director David Tolbert so he wouldn't hire her for an acting gig. Room. So Tyler Perry says to me, listen, you may really want to consider promoting this film because if you get nominated for an Oscar award, your next film is three to five million dollars. And if you win it, your next film is six to eight million dollars. I said, Tyler, who are you talking to? I'm a black woman. Where do they pay those type of salaries, brother? I said, what I cannot do, Tyler, is work for free. I've done what I was supposed to do. I cannot go overseas and do this for free, Tyler. So then he goes on about his spill, you know. I said, well, listen, you can write me the check for me to go overseas. I don't care where the money comes from, but I'm not going to do it for free. He says, well, I don't believe in giving money away for free. I said, I don't believe in working for free, so we're on the same page. And as for Oprah, she later was asked why she never addressed Monique's claims about her ruining her career. And she really just got to run in her mouth about a whole lot of nothing. Y'all just take a look at this. I noticed that too, because you're, you're taking the high road on so many different levels and people say negative things about you. Trump, uh, Monique is, is in the media right now. Why do you continue to take the high road? Why don't you address it face? Oh my gosh, because it's impossible. It's a law. 
that if you meet negative with negative, you will just have a combusted ne negative force and negative energy. You can't meet negative energy where it is. You have to rise above it. You have to transcend it. You have to be the light. And it only takes a little bit of light to banish the darkness. Mm. It takes a lot of darkness to overcome the light but it takes just a little bit of light. And we are warriors of the light. So I would never stoop to try to meet somebody where they are negatively. Yeah. Don't care who they are. So as y'all can see, Monique and Taraji both went through the same exact thing. However, Taraji pissed Monique off a big time when she backtracked on everything she said about Oprah and started singing to a completely different tune. She posted a photo of her and Oprah from the press tour, calling Oprah a beacon of light and claiming Oprah made her feel feel seen and heard. She said, it is so important for black women and all women of color to support each other. It's also imperative to have women of color in decision-making positions across all industries. With that being said, Miss Oprah has been nothing less than a steady and solid beacon of light to all of the cast of The Color Purple. She told me personally to reach out to her for anything I needed and I did. It took one call, one conversation, and one decision-making black woman to make me feel heard. Oprah also made her own separate post with a series of photos and videos of her and Taraji, where she said, I've long admired Taraji. She can make you laugh, cry, cheer, and feel everything in between, but I had no idea she could sing. Taraji the actress, a force. Taraji the singer, a complete revelation. What I love about her portrayal of Suge Avery is that she plays her like a woman who not only sang the blues, but had lived the blues. Only Taraji could do that. She shared that her late father once told her, you're gonna be one of the greatest actresses alive, but wait until the world hears you sing. Taraji, the stage is now yours, and I can already see the standing ovations for you. I'm fiercely welcoming Taraji to the color purple sisterhood. However, people didn't really buy this at all, and were specifically very disappointed in Taraji because it was clear as day that she had allowed Oprah to sway her from speaking the truth about how awfully she had been treating black women. But can we really blame them for thinking that way? Taraji was just blasting Oprah a few days ago and now she's calling her a beacon of light? Make that make sense. Cause the way I see it, either she was bullied in a post in this or Oprah cleared that check and finally gave her what she deserved. Either way, Monique still ain't having it because she feels like Taraji just threw all the other underpaid black actresses in the game under the bus for her own gain. According to sources, Monique doesn't want anything to do with Taraji, and she thinks Taraji doesn't really have the guts to go against Oprah like she has been single-handedly doing for years now. And chill, people had a whole lot to say about this. Some people claim that Oprah probably threatened Taraji into backtracking, while others dragged Taraji for not standing with Monique in the fight against Oprah. Oprah. One person said, when Monique was speaking out, Taraji was collecting that empire check. So you know, she was not gonna stand with her against Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, and Oprah. Now she on a press tour, working for free on an Oprah production and crying about low pay. How ironic. Another person said, I'm sorry, I don't feel bad for Taraji P. Henson. She mad Oprah paying her crumbs, talking about black women need support while actively supporting non black black women and putting other black women down. Hypocrite. That's why Oprah and the industry playing in her face. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Monique going off on Taraji for supporting Oprah? And do you really think Taraji betrayed Monique and all the other black women because she went back to supporting Oprah? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very very messy video.